Welcome to the Print Runner instructional video detailing how to save your Adobe Illustrator CS4 or EPS file into a print ready PDF. We encourage you to use this method as much as possible to ensure that your order meets our file check requirements and prevents any delays in the production process. Step 1. Ensure that you are working in the correct color mode. Full color printing requires that you work in CMYK and not RGB. RGB color looks bright and vivid on screen, but may produce an undesirable color shift once it's converted. Therefore, it's better to see the conversion for yourself before you submit your file. Adobe Illustrator allows you to easily check for this. Start off by going to the File menu and choosing Document Color Mode. If CMYK is checked, then you are good. If RGB is checked, please choose CMYK. Step 2. If you place your order for full color printing, you will need to remove any unnecessary spot or Pantone colors to disable the chances of color shifting after conversion. Company logos and colors are a few examples of objects in your file that may unknowingly be designated for a spot color. Adobe Illustrator allows you to easily, easily ensure this. While making sure all objects are deselected, choose swatches from the window menu. Click on the first white swatch after the re registration mark, hold down the shift key, and then click on the last swatch. This selects all the swatches. From the palette, click on the trash icon. This will delete the swatches as well as converting any spot colors used into CMYK. Step 3. Ensure that the document size in your file matches the document size of your order you placed. If you place an order for a 5.5 by 8.5 postcard, but you give us a file that is 4 by 6, this typically will lead to delays in your order. Adobe Illustrator CS4 allows you to easily set the artboard area for one or more pages to the desired size in your order. Click on the Artboard tool from your Tools palette. This activates the artboard dimensions in the Measurements palette. Type in the proper document size for your order. In this case, the business card is 3.5 inches wide by 2 inches high. Click back on the selection tool to deactivate the artboard view. You will see now that the outer black line, which represents where the card will be cut, has now been reduced and that the bluish background now bleeds past the cut line. If a background color does not bleed past this cut line, now would be the time to pull the object out or enlarge it. Likewise, you can pull guidelines in to check that any text has the proper 1 8 inch or 0.125 safe margin from the edge of the page to reduce the chance of it being cut off. Step 4. Ensure that any light colored text or objects are not overprinting. A dark colored object. If a colored object such as white or yellow is set over a large black box, Illustrator will usually automatically set the light color to knock out the dark color underneath. However, there are rare occasions due to the way the file was built where the light color will actually overprint the dark color. Basically what happens in an overprint is that the text will now only show up very faint or you will not be able to see it at all. This will show you how to check for it and also how to fix it. First, from the window menu, choose attributes. Also from the window menu, choose Separations Preview. While viewing your entire artboard, check the Overprint Preview box. If no text or objects disappear in the artwork, then you are OK. As an example, I will show what happens with an overprint. With part of the text selected, I will check the Overprint Fill box in the Attributes palette. You now can see what happens when the white text overprints a dark object. 
Toggling the overprint preview box on and off will show the difference. This is why it's very important to work with the preview on. If you do happen to notice an overprint, simply select it and uncheck the overprint fill or stroke from the attributes palette. Step 5. The final step is to save your Illustrator or EPS file to an Adobe Acrobat PDF file. PDF is the most reliable format for transporting files from computer to computer and is the preferred format among printers worldwide. If you submit perfect PDFs to PrintRunner, your order will surely move through our production process without any hang-ups. It reduces errors relating to linking up of fonts and graphics as well as often reducing the overall file size that you would open, upload to your printer. This step will show you the correct settings to choose as well as showing how to save these settings as a preset that you can use for all your Adobe Illustrator files that you submit to PrintRunner. Go to the file menu and choose save as. Give your file a proper name and choose the location that you remember. At the bottom of the window choose Adobe PDF for the format and click the save button. This will launch the Save Adobe PDF dialog box. In the first setting called General, start off by choosing the highest co compatibility that you have. Do not choose Acrobat 4 PDF 1.3 if at all possible. In the options list, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities, embed page thumbnails, and optimize for fast web view are the only necessary items to be checked. The Compression tab allows you to downsample any excessively large images down to a specific resolution. It is only necessary for you to give us images at 300 dpi. Any more than this is excessive and will create an unnecessarily large PDF file. Choose Bicubic Downsampling at 300 dpi or ppi with the zip compression for all three image choices, color, grayscale, and monochrome. The Marks and Bleed tab is probably the most critical and most likely the main reason why orders go on hold at Print Runner. This tab controls the amount of bleed you give as well as crop marks which indicate where we need to cut the job. Under Marks it is really only necessary to check Trim Marks. In the Offset field, enter 0.125 or 1 8 inch. Do not leave at zero. In the Bleed section, if you are unsure of the bleed, Uncheck the Use Document Bleed Settings box and enter 0.125 or 1 8 inch in all four fields. Under Output, there should be no color conversion and don't include profiles. Lastly, click the Save Preset button. In the dialog box, enter a name such as Print Runner or My Printer Settings and click OK. You will now see that the preset you just created is in the list of Adobe PDF presets for you to choose from. You can now use this as a PDF setting without having to remember all those compression and bleed settings. Click the Save PDF button and be sure to examine the PDF afterward to check for anomalies. You are now ready to submit your file to Print Runner. So to recap the entire process, Step 1. Ensure your color mode is CMYK, not RGB. This will reduce color shifting. Step 2. Remove any spot or Pantone colors. This will also reduce color shifting. Step 3. Adjust your artboard so that the size in your file matches the size of the order you placed. Step 4. Ensure that all light colored text and objects will knock out over dark colored backgrounds so they don't appear missing when printed. Step 5. Save your file with the proper PDF settings using an already created Print Runner preset or while creating one for the first time. Thanks for watching this clip. I hope it was very informative and if you have any other questions or issues you can visit the Print Runner website to view more of the help topics. Thank you.